Hi folks, welcome back to another video. My name is Henry and today I'll be sharing some news in regards to the Dark Pictures Anthology Little Hope. The game is releasing in October 30th and is definitely a great month for survival horror games. And I hope that you're prepared for this one, so please enjoy. Now get yourself ready for this survival horror video game. It is the second of eight planned installments in the series and the successor to Men of Medan. And it was inspired in no other than the Silent Hill series and possible and I must ask, are you a fan of Will Poulter? If so, then you will want to play this game as he plays one of the main characters, Andrew, Anthony and Abraham, characters that they all exist at different time periods. If you want to check Will Poulter's interview, check out the links in the description below. As for the main story, it begins with four students and their teacher becoming stranded. This happens in a super isolated town miles away from anywhere. All of this after their bus crashed due to bad weather, protagonists are trapped by a mysterious fog in the town of Little Hope. They search desperately for means of escape while they start seeing these visions from the past and start hunting them from the shadows. Now Little Hope is played from a third person perspective in which players assume control of up to five different characters, all of them trapped in this ghost town. Now throughout the game, players will be able to choose different dialogue options, definitely very interesting RPG elements, since each action will influence the course of the narrative and the relationship between the protagonists. Interesting to know is that this game offers multiple endings when playing it multiple times, as there are multiple scenarios based on the decisions that the players will make, and depending on the choices of the players, at the end even all characters may die according to the producers. Now this game features two multiplayer modes, shared story which allows two players to play online and in addition to this co-op mode you can also select movie night, which allows up to five players to select their own characters and prompts them to pass the controller at each turn. Little Hope is a town that has an infamous history of witch hunting. It took place in 1692 and as players explore the town they will witness the execution of a group of settlers. Now all of these settlers are from the past who look exactly like him. Creepy enough right? So players must find out their connection with this group of settlers and piece together the history of the town, discovering the root of the evil. Now Little Hope's story covers multiple timelines which is considered you know very interesting as you will jump back and forth between the present and the past. The game features more supernatural elements when compared to its predecessor and the team chose witchcraft as the game's main theme, definitely something I could play for Halloween. Now stay alert for this game as you explore its root causes. Now Pete Samuels, the game's director, added that the team was intrigued by the greed, paranoia and the fear of God which motivated people to commit heinous acts during that period. Now what do you think about this game? Is it a game that you would consider playing during this month? Let me know in the comments. As for now, this has been everything that I have prepared for you guys. I will catch you guys on our next video. Goodbye.